Joseph Yobo was, was a later mission from the team for the Swansea game. Chris, is he likely to feature this weekend? Uh, well, we'll see to, today. He's going to uh, be out on the training pitch today. He's, he's, uh, uh, I think he's been OK this week. Um, so I think we're quite confident that, um, that uh, hopefully he'll come through today and, of course, uh, training tomorrow. But um, we'll, we'll see very much today. Ryan Bennett stepped in for him last weekend, but does Michael Turner come into that equation as well? Uh, well, Michael was in the squad and it was, it was a decision. And I think perhaps that uh, Ryan was a little bit more up to speed than where, where Michael uh, was. But Michael's very much in, in the squad. He's been training well the last, last few weeks and uh, he also comes into contention, yes. Some good news regarding Elliot Bennett, who's, who's going to feature for the under-21s against Liverpool on Friday. Yeah, which is uh, which is good news. We we thought long and hard about our last uh, under twenty one game, but we just felt that uh, that probably it come just a, a little bit too early to get the minutes that we they really we really wanted to get for him. So um, so yeah, real good opportunity for him. He's obviously very excited about it. You know, been out a long time and it's been very tough for for, for Elliot. But uh, he's trained very well the last few weeks. He's had no problems with uh, with the injury itself right through. His, uh, his rehab and um, we look forward to, we'll determine exactly how long he will play but it's just good to get him back out there again. And, and quickly, how, how's the timeline on Leroy Fair? Uh, well, he's making good progress. Um, we, we're hopeful that he, he'll be able to train at some stage next week. Um, so, um, yeah, that's, that's encouraging and uh, again, he's had no setbacks in his um, in his treatment or his rehab since since the injury, so uh, hopefully that will be another plus for us next week. Another big home game this weekend, Chris, against West Brom. Do you look forward to them? Do you is, is, is it something you relish? Well, uh, we have to look forward to them because um, because we've been so disappointing in our our away form. That's you know of course heaped more pressure on and our one our home performances and probably more so our, our home results. Um, but we have. Um, been in good form at home. We we've we haven't been conceding goals certainly in our last sort of six games at home, and uh, and uh, and our record has been good. The, the atmosphere at Carra Road has has been excellent, and it's been a, a difficult place for for teams to come. And we've got to make sure it's exactly the same on 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 Saturday. So I think I think you have to look forward to it. You know, it would be nice to have perhaps that little bit more of, of a, a cushion with our away form having been better. Um, uh, but that's not the case and uh, it has, it has made the, the home performance even more important for us. You and the lads got it very right against Sunderland. Is the game plan similar this weekend against West Brom to that game? Um, well, the game plan has to be to, to get a result in whichever way that we, that we have to do that. And you never know what you're going to be confronted with. You know, we, we played very well and got the early goals up against uh, Sunderland. And, um, but you never know in every game. Um, they're a, a team that's that's fighting uh, with us, you know, to to keep a good position in this league, and and they've got some very good players, West Brom, and uh, they're on the back of having scored three goals at, at home in their last game. So, so I think they'll be buoyed by that. So we we can't certainly afford to underestimate them, but we are at home, and uh, you know, in whichever way we do it, it's a, it's a three points that we we want and we need. It's been an interesting week for West Brom on and off the pitch. Do you think? Um, what do you make of their season overall in terms? Because they've fallen quite a bit from last year, haven't they? No, I think I think that they will perhaps be disappointed. I think in where they are, particularly after the the finish that they had last season. But but that's the but that's this uh, this Premier League. It's it's such a, a tough league. There are a few teams, of course, that are in similar positions and 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 have found it difficult. And uh, West Brom are one of the clubs that, that fall into that one. And. Um, you know they'll, they'll want to pick up enough good results in these last few games, exactly the same as ourselves. Um, but it's our home game. Uh, we haven't got to worry too much about the opposition. We've got to think about how we can win a football match and how we can get the points that we need. The home game against West Brom last year was arguably even more important than this one, and the lads produced an outstanding performance that day. That was a, that was a special day for the football club, that wasn't it? Well, it was an outstanding performance, and of course, more importantly, it was the result that we wanted. Um, and although you know this is some four games earlier than the, the, the game that we played last season, but uh, but they're important games, and um, at this moment, this is a, a very big and important game for us. And um, as I said, we can't underestimate them because they have got good players, but we are at home and um, we've got to make the most of the fact that we are playing at home, that it's become a difficult place for teams to come. 
and um, take full advantage of that. And a quick word on the, on the win at their place earlier in the season. That was an, an away day where it all clicked for us, wasn't it? It was. It was a good performance and um, we were able to get that, that second goal late in the game, which really, I suppose, alleviated a lot of the pressure of the game. They, you know, in, in them type of games, you need a little bit of fortune as well. And um, they, they'd missed a couple of very good chances and, uh, you know, it could have gone different for us. But, but as an overall performance, it was... You know, along with, of course, Stoke, you know, our, our best and only real um, winning performances of the season away from home. And, uh, uh, and I hope we can get a similar feel come Saturday. And finally, Chris, that atmosphere at Carr Road against Sunderland was incredible with the clap banners and everything. I'm hoping for something similar this weekend, aren't you? Uh, yes, we are. Um, you know, we, we've continually said that you know, the club have done great in, in their preparations for for these games and the Sunderland game but but of course the, 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 the real important thing is that we as a team give the supporters uh, enough for, for them to get behind the team. They'll get behind the team anyway because, um, they, because they always do um, but to create that type of atmosphere you know we've got to uh, be playing well enough We've got to be determined enough. The the, the supporters have got to uh, uh, like what they see, even if it's not, you know, even if it's a difficult time in the game. If they can see enough endeavour from the team, then they will always get behind the team. But the club have worked very hard, you know, on on making sure that we create the right sort of atmosphere at uh, at Carra Road. Um, but we want to, to make sure that it's a, it's a performance that uh, that the that the supporters are, are proud of the team. I suppose I'd better ask you quickly about the gesture of the players to, to refund the travelling fans for, for the Swansea game last weekend. Yeah, well, it was it was a wonderful gesture, and um, you know I think the, the the gesture is is in whole for the season. It's it's a real appreciation of because where we are based here in, in Norwich, there are so many long trips and um, long away days, and, and I think it's it's in appreciation of what what they do, you know, throughout the season, that the the miles and the numbers that travel, you know, we've taken thousands and thousands to to further away grounds than, than a lot of clubs have to have to travel. So I think it's a real appreciation and, and it's a wonderful gesture by the players.